Welcome to the League of Legends Champion Spotlight, featuring Gangplank, the Saltwater Scourge. Gangplank is a hybrid melee and ranged physical damage dealer. His main strengths are great mobility, high damage output, and an ultimate that can be cast anywhere on the map. Gangplank's passive is Grog Soaked Blade. Every attack that Gangplank makes places a stack of Grog Soaked Blade on his target, up to a cap. Each stack damages and slows the movement of whoever's been struck. Parlay shoots target enemy with Gangplank's pistol, dealing damage. This shot applies on hit effects such as Sheen, Lifesteal, and Grog Soaked Blade. Parlay can also critically strike his targets. Additionally, if Parlay kills its target, Gangplank is awarded bonus gold. I take Parlay at level 1 and max it last. Remove Scurvy causes Gangplank to eat a bunch of oranges, healing Gangplank and removing all crowd control effects, such as slows and stuns that afflict him. Raise Morale passively gives Gangplank increased attack damage and movement speed. When activated, Gangplank gains an even larger bonus to these stats and grants a smaller bonus to nearby allied champions as well. I take Raise Morale at level 2 and max it by level 9. Cannon Barrage marks an area on the map for a few seconds, slowing all enemies in the area and causing cannonballs to fall randomly in the area, damaging anything they strike. Cannon Barrage can be cast anywhere in the game, regardless of how close it is to Gangplank. With a rune and mastery build focused on early damage output and durability, you can easily push around most lane opponents. Once Scion blows his stun, I push in with Parlay and activate Raise Morale for bonus movement speed and damage. Because of Grog Soaked Blade's slow, I'm able to keep up with him as I take down his health bar and force him to recall, giving me free space to farm. Because Parlay gives you bonus gold whenever it kills a unit, you want to use it to farm minions whenever you can. In particular, you want to find out exactly how much damage Parlay will deal to ensure you get the kill. However, because of its cooldown, you will have to kill minions with basic attacks sometimes. The better you can predict your cooldown against minion deaths, the better your gold income. Always remember that Parlay can deal critical strikes. This means that occasionally, Gangplank can get extremely lucky. Volibear dives me with exhaust. I run until it times out, then turn for a Parlay and a basic attack. My 4% critical chance for masteries triggers on both, and I get a completely free kill. When building mostly for damage, don't rely on Remove Scurvy to keep you alive in a teamfight. Scion comes in to stun me, and the rest of his team follows up. I remove Scurvy, use Cannon Barrage, and try to run, but now I can't escape the exhaust or Volibear's Rolling Thunder. While my team is able to pick up a few kills from behind, I die before really helping out my team much. Instead, use a couple of tricks to keep you safer. With Cannon Barrage and Summoner Teleport, you can push a side lane and still show up to the battle without missing a beat. As I watch the battle unfold, I look to kill the squishiest targets possible. I blow up the enemy Scion with Parlay, then activate Ray's Morale and Shirelia's Reverie to give my team supreme positioning. With Annie and Vayne completely split off from the rest of my team, we take down Master Yi and Volibear. Because Gangplank takes on the role of carry, you should find pushing with a minion wave to be very powerful. I'm able to earn a lot of gold, pushing up the minion wave to the windmill and fiddlesticks. Whenever he leaves the turret, I push in with Parlay and Grog Soaked Blade. However, I don't want to dive the turret until I have minions to capture it, so I continue farming. Once they have started capturing the turret, I push in until I notice some channel Crowstorm. Once that ends, I can tank and out damage drain with Cannon Barrage and Parlay, killing him underneath the windmill and taking the capture. As we get into a teamfight around the windmill, I aim for the squishy targets on the enemy team. I Parlay Twisted Fate and remove Scurvy his stun. Then I activate Yomu's Ghost Blade and take him down almost immediately. Exhaust and Cannon Barrage help me make short work of Volibear as well, leaving just me and Fiddlesticks. Unfortunately, Fiddlesticks is guaranteed to win a fight against me due to his larger health pool. However, a combination of Parlay, my movement speed, and Remove Scurvy allow me to waste his time until reinforcements show up. You can use Cannon Barrage to stop enemy captures. I drop it on Fiddlesticks, keeping the windmill neutralized. However, Pantheon and Volibear can easily capture it because I aimed it badly. Instead, aim it at the middle of the point so you can stop everyone. For runes, I take Armor Penetration Marks, Flat Armor Seals, Flat Magic Resist Glyphs, and Flat Attack Damage Quintessences. This build gives me significant early game damage output with Parlay in case I want to push around my lane opponent, while giving me decent resistances that synergize with bonus health, lifesteal, and remove scurvy. My masteries are 2109, 
focusing on all physical damage increasing masteries and offense, while taking increased mana regeneration and neutral buff duration in utility. I take Exhaust and Teleport on Summoner's Rift, while subbing out Teleport for Surge on Dominion. In Classic, I open with a Regrowth Pendant and Health Potion, upgrading to Philosopher's Stone. I look to grab cooldown reduction through Ionian Boots of Lucidity and Brutalizer. I continue my build with Trinity Force and Shirelia's Reverie for even more damage, utility, and cooldown reduction. By the end of the game, I want to deal even more damage through Infinity Edge and Yomu's Ghost Blade, and increase my durability with Guardian Angel or Banshee's Veil. In Dominion, I look for more durability and damage through basic attacks instead of parlay. I open with Prospector's Blade and Boots of Speed. I rush for a lot of mobility through Berserker's Greaves and Yomu's Ghost Blade. I flesh out my damage output further with Sanguine Blade and Infinity Edge. At this point, I'll need more durability, so I look for items like Frozen Mallet, Odin's Veil, and Atma's Impaler. Thanks for tuning in to the Gangplank Champion Spotlight. Please subscribe to the Riot Games YouTube channel above, and don't forget to thumbs us up just below the video.